For the first time in Belize's history, the Central American Championships in Table Tennis in the male and female under 15, under 18 in the team competition, mixed doubles and singles categories are being held in Belize. Teams and their respective support staff from eight countries, including Mexico, are participating in the five-day competition, which began on January 4th at the Mexico Sports Center adjacent to the Marion Jones Sporting Complex in Belize City. Quite a big event. Um, we have about 110 players. Um, we started yesterday on Tuesday. We should be finished by Saturday midday. So that's like four and a half days, or three and a half days, four and a half days of, of competition. And as you can see, it's pretty packed. Um, each delegation has about 23 people in it, so we have quite a crowd. Um, we had an opening ceremony last night, which, which went pretty well. Um, Belize is quite, we are honored to, to host this, this event. It's a pretty big event. People from the International Federation are coming in today, so they are also supporting the whole initiative that, that we're doing. Table tennis was dormant for almost 25 years. Before that, it was my time when I was doing this in other countries. Um, so we started, and now we have started concentrating on the kids since 2013. So for me, this event is also important because this is about the kids, and that's where your development and your, and your, and your future champions come from. The best of the best are competing for an opportunity to qualify for the Pan American Games. Earlier today, Belize faced off against the Salvadoran team and lost 2-3. to three. A win would have automatically advanced Team Belize. But all is not lost, says President Arturo Vasquez, who is hopeful that some of Belize's talented players will advance. We would have qualified at least in fourth position and also we would have qualified for the Pan American Games. But let's see, we're playing Panama right now. Let's see what we can do there. The competition here is extremely high. We're hoping that in the individual, um, Tay Parkinson is a name that we have heard in table tennis for a while. Tay has, done, has won the under 13, under 11, sorry, not one, but he has placed in the top four. So hopefully this year, he's the only one we have that's still under 15 at, at a high level. So we're hoping he will do well in that. And then we have uh, David Shokmane and, and some other players that are hopeful in the, in the under 18. In between matches, we caught up with athletes Devesh Shokmane and Kelly Lou, who are both playing in the under 18 category. They contend that the players from the other countries are highly skilled, but they are putting their strategy to work in order to come out on top. The other countries are obviously very strong and we just, we just aim to do our best and to like, gain experience from it and learn from the other countries, the players. The competition has been very great. Um, I had a slow start into the competition playing against one of the top seeds in this tournament, Mexico. I competed and I ended up losing 3-1, but nonetheless, I played very well. And today I had a very great start beating two of El Salvador's top players and I just played against Panama's second, well, best at the moment. Representing Belize, it makes me more confident, especially playing at home, rather than put pressure on me. So I take it more as confidence and I play better. To play against these guys, you need to think very smart. Each adjustment is very important. So you just have to play short and like play more aggressive than the opponent. Dwayne Moody for News 5.